Can you double check my calculations? A new day, another tide. Surely, things were going to get better. Hey, Lockie! <laughs> hey, do you want to meet up at lunch? Yeah. I'll... You know I'm not in the quadrangle. What about the old science lab? It's always empty. Yeah, I'll see you there. Yeah. Good morning, Curtis. Look, old star boy, you don't talk to outsiders. You're one of us now, and you're either with us or against us. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Good. Now you can prove it. How? You're the brainiac. I'm sure you can figure out a way. So, let's tell each other why chewing gum in class is a bad idea. And tish! Chewing, chewing gum, gum in class, class is, is a bad, bad idea. idea. Chewing gum in class is a bad idea. Sergeant Leonard, Constable Wattle. Right, let's invite our special guests into our classroom of trust. Karen. Welcome, coppers. Thank you, Karen. Well, it's good to see all of you. Today, apart from uh, shared stories, we will also be writing a group poem about things that give us the pips. Young Geoffrey. Maybe you'd like to start. What gives you the pips? Egg would never usually speak against the Sarge. But if he didn't make friends with Curtis, life would become more difficult, more lonely than it already was. The Sergeant asked you a question. Coppers. Coppers, give me the pips. Right, well, let's move on to story time. Um, Karen, maybe you have a story you'd like to share? A little wombat went to the shops and couldn't find his mum. He went to the greyhound races and his mum wasn't there either. He was getting very tired, but still he kept looking. He climbed to the top of Mount Angelus and screamed at the top of his voice, Where are you, mum? But all he could hear was the wind in the trees. The end. Thank you, Karen. I'm, I'm sure the little wombat's mum will come home very soon. I, I... I found this. I think it belongs to Miss Gurgley. I'm sure Mrs. Gurgley will appreciate it. Thank you, Karen. OK, class, that's lunch. You know what gives me the pips? You. <laughs> nice work today, Eggleston. Curtis was impressed. You want to hang out at lunch? Us? Hang out. It's in today. Yeah? See, I'd love to, but I've already made plans to meet. Curtis doesn't care if you have plans, and he won't ask you twice. <laughs> sure. Sure, I could... I could reschedule. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it's not like I waited all lunchtime for egg. OK. Maybe I did. Meanwhile, it seemed Sam had finally drifted towards Sarge's way of thinking. Do you think it's possible, hypothetically, that somewhere out there, there's a little rooster screaming out from the top of Mount Angelus? Where are you, Dad? It's possible. I know we still haven't taken his claw prints, but I think we should set him free. If that's OK with you. Permission granted, Constable. I may still have to give his owner a fine. A small one, but a fine nevertheless. If you have two oranges, and while you're sleeping, 
I take away one orange. How many oranges will you be dreaming about? Dad. No, wait. Oranges. Oranges. Hmm. Citrus. It's, it's coming to me. No, really, Dad. Egg wanted to tell his dad he was worried Rev was drifting from him and he didn't belong in enrichment class. But he couldn't find the words. Knock, knock. Hey. Hola. <laughs> Hola, Jeffrey. Are you ready? Arriba! <laughs> oh, look, I know we're meant to go to the Feast of the Bandidos tonight, but Homo Club's not going too well. And... Of course. We can go another time. Fia con Dios, amigos. And God go with you too, Leone. <laughs> Then Egg realised he didn't need to tell his dad anything. There was another way to stop Rev from drifting from him. Now, you were saying? I was just going to say how good it is that you and Mrs Elway are helping me with my homework. But I still think I need a lot more help. Like every night. Well, don't worry, Geoffrey. We have all the time in the world. Just you and me. Now, oranges. Citrus. Citrus. Juicy. 